Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We're going to continue on the journey of neuroinflammation. Last week, we went over different types of uh, conditions that may present as neuroinflammation, things like concussion, autism, Alzheimer's, etc. And we also gave you a list of different symptoms that you might experience if you had a mild case of neuroinflammation. So go back and watch those videos from the previous week. And today we're going to talk about moderate inflammation. What, how does a patient present when they have moderate neuroinflammation, inflammation in the brain? Okay. So symptoms of moderate neuroinflammation, they call it sick behavior syndrome. So when a patient presents and they say they are depressed without any real cause, but they have, let's say, an autoimmune disease that causes inflammation, or they had some sort of physical trauma to create an inflammatory load, like a concussion. They may express depression. They may say that they feel depressed and they don't know why, right? And it could be as a result of not chemical imbalance or neurotransmitter imbalance, but because there's inflammation in the brain causing a depressive mood. Another one is the inability to concentrate. And it goes along with the same thing with brain function, right? When you feel depressed, and, but you can't focus, you can't concentrate, right? Concentration, focus, attention, uh, organization, all those things are frontal lobe activities. And when you have inability to focus and concentrate, there can be an impact on the frontal lobe or other parts of the brain. So sleepiness. Basically, sleepiness will occur because you don't have any endurance. The brain doesn't have the endurance to keep up or the stimulus that you are receiving from the outside world is too much for the brain because it's inflamed. And what you wanna do is you wanna sleep. Once you sleep, you may feel a little bit more refreshed and feel a little bit better, but that typically doesn't last because of the neuroinflammatory process that's going on. Increased demand of sleep. So, Despite sleeping, let's say eight plus hours, you get up the next day and you're still tired, right? Or you have some trivial activity or you study for 30 minutes or you did something mentally taxing for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or looked at a computer screen, right? And it'll fatigue you, right? So even if you have the proper not number of hours of sleep, it can still fatigue you. Lethargy and fatigue. I mean, that's the common recurring theme, right? One of the first signs of people who have neurodegeneration or inflammatory processes is fatigue, okay? Another one is depression. So when you have fatigue as a primary complaint, it could be related to anemia or blood flow, right? It could be related to blood sugar issues, but it can also be related to neuroinflammatory conditions. Over here, lack of uh, motivation, that still goes back to the brain and how the brain functions. Loss of appetite, right? When you're depressed or if your brain uh, is not functioning well, the last thing you're really thinking about is eating, right? Malaise, inability to do physical activity. So you're sitting on the couch, you can't get motivated, you, you're, you wanna do something, but you can't. But if you did a physical activity, it'll completely wipe you out because there's inflammatory loads of the brain. So when you look at it, when you look at neural inflammation, think about fatigue, how your brain fatigues very quickly. Um, or even if you have enough sleep and you did all the right things, uh, the next day, one to two hours into an activity, you're just done, you're wiped, you want to take a nap, you're sleepy, right? These are the first clinical signs of moderate neural inflammation. And depression is another big one, okay? So think about it. And if you know of anybody who has these signs and symptoms, they may have neuroinflammation. And how do we take care of that is another separate subject. Okay. Next week, we're going to go over severe neuroinflammation and the signs and symptoms of those conditions. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have a great day.